Hello my Soccer Universe 2, uh, another Africa Cup of Nations update, AFCON update, I should say, AFCON now. Um, There's not much to say <laughs> for today because it was a quite remarkable day, but for all the wrong reasons. I'm wearing my new Ghana shirt because, you know, I haven't worn it so far uh, and I really like it. Uh, the early game yesterday was um, the, the match between uh, Mauritania and Angola. Uh, which, you know, early games, they're usually not very um, exciting because they still play that big heat. Um, Angola had clearly the better of the game. However, they couldn't find the breakthrough. There was a, a, a small chance for Mauritania. Angola late scores a goal that's taken for offside. And so it ends how we actually almost expected it to end. Uh, in a nil-nil draw. Which means now in the table, this was a little bit of a shot in the arm for Tunisia because they now remain in second uh, place, but now it's slightly better goal differential as well um, over Angola. Uh, Mali is at least secured a third place, but also is not through yet to the knockout stage. So, But I think with four points, you usually look quite uh, comfortable, even if you should lose now um, to Angola. And that led us directly into the big clash yesterday between Cameroon and Ghana, a game that I was looking forward to, but honestly I saw maybe the uh, good portion of the first half and also the uh, latter half of the second half because um, Germany and Sweden at the Women's World Cup played a quite remarkable um, uh, quarterfinal. And so that's where my focus was on. Uh, the game, again, it was kind of slowish. I, Two teams that are roughly on the same level, uh, but clearly not at the top of African teams at the moment. I actually like the jersey matchup, uh, despite Ghana not playing in red, but in white. But those white jerseys with the flag color and the uh, black star on the center, that, that, that was nice. And the camera, always, if they play in their regular kit, green, red, uh, yellow, I always like that. Um, still have to get used to that now, Le Coq Sportif. Anyway, it was a cagey game, it was a game between two evenly matched teams. I thought Cameroon was a little bit more mature going forward and they actually had the one big chance in the first half when Basagok had a, a shot from point blank, not point blank range, but he had a clear shot uh, from about 10 meters out that was really nicely saved by Ofori. You really had the feeling that this should have been 1-0, but it was not. Second half continues a little bit in that vein without many chances. Again, Cameroon maybe a little bit better, but then Ghana could weave together some more offensive potential. I think in the latter half, I thought that Ghana had a little bit more uh, of the game, but it was only at the very end where they suddenly, uh, instead of long balls and more fight, they actually uh, focused on uh, you know passes on the ground, uh, short, quick passes. And they actually got their big chance for a breakthrough. So Samuel Uwuzu, who uh, came on for his first game, um, you know, early in the first half, I actually didn't see him coming on. And he hit the bar. And that was the other big chance in the game. It ends again nil-nil. Uh, you know, the result definitely better for Cameroon, but it doesn't uh, guarantee them anything as well. And then in the late game between the two outsiders, Benin and Guinea-Bissau, uh, which I thought was interesting because Benin uh, played against Ghana, who were red in their white, white jerseys, and now basically the same jerseys by Ambro, which looked nice in yellow. But Guinea-Bissau were played in red. So, you know, it's, I understand. Benin was the away t uh, team in the one, now they're the home team. Also not much to tell here. It also ended goalless, and it was also, uh, I didn't even see huge chances in the highlights, uh, but this was the late game, and I think the occasion got to those two teams, because, um, you know, you don't want to lose, and the win would be a huge thing for you guys, so, uh, yeah, KG, 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 overall, uh, if you want to say so, so yeah. It basically ends a veritable goal drought yesterday, three nil-nils to end the second day of group play. In the table of Group F now, Cameroon leads with four points, Ghana and Benin 
are still level at two each in Guinea Bissau. With one, uh, you would think the Cameroon is in a good position. A very similar uh, sales situation as in Group E, uh, which is actually interesting that we now have from Groups A to D, we have the, already the group winners confirmed. Oh, uh, we have uh, um, teams moving on. Group winners only uh, Algeria is confirmed as a group winner. Group E and F uh, is still open. However, if you look now at the moment, the third place spots, it's the groups A and B, as I, as I predicted, that at the moment would be the teams out. But you know, still games to play. We have the last uh, match days for uh, groups A and B uh, today. It will start in group um, B with Madagascar, Nigeria and Burundi, Guinea uh, at 6 o'clock and at 9 o'clock Uganda, Egypt and Zimbabwe against the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, which will be definitely interesting. Well, as I said, not much to say. This was a typically Africa Cup of Nations, Africa Cup of Nations match. They were usually there are not many goal scores. So, so far it was actually enjoyable. That was not so enjoyable yesterday. Drop me a comment below if you uh, want to add anything to my video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.